All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the instructions, or lack of, that they give you with this kit, and try and figure out how all of these parts are going to fit together and make a turbine engine. Let's have a look see here. So it looks like in the first drawing they show you how to do the combustor which is basically where the fire is going to be. It's like brass tubing. Check. Inner flame tube. Check. Outer flame tube. Check. See what else we got here. All right. Well, it looks like we've got a nice machined diffuser, which is going to straighten and slow the airflow from this little guy, which is our compressor. have a nice inlet machine looks like a well-made part the way this fits together is this compressor has a tolerance needs to fit in here and this guy is going to sit in here and direct the airflow down the body of this thing into this combustor where it's going to burn and come into this guy that we're going to drill a bunch of holes in like this so all of this hot gas is going to burn in this tube come into all of these holes that we're going to drill along here and this guy will sit in here and this guy looks like a little turbine from a turbocharger it's going to sit in here like so all the holes drilled in the side of this thing are going to drive this guy which is going to be screwed it all the way into the end of this compressor. Sounds pretty simple, right? Let's see what else we have here. Some more drawings of how it all goes together. Nice little bearing housing here. This guy holds the bearings. So the shaft can sit in here and have something to ride on. Oh boy, here's our drawing of this guy and how we're going to drill holes in it. Looks like they drilled four holes in it for me. Drawing says I should have five. I don't know if that really matters. I think they're just mounting holes. This guy's going to sit like this and we're going to drill a bunch of holes in here. I think that's where we'll start in the next video. We'll set it up on my little mini mill with my rotary table and they want us to drill these holes at an angle instead of just straight in. They want them drilled this way so as the hot gas comes in it comes in and hits the little pockets in this wheel and causes it to spin. So he says he wants approximately a 50 degree angle. So we'll work out some math and we'll get it all set up in the mill and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.